Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I love all things handbag related with a little bit of emphasis on the brands Vera Bradley and Lug. I also occasionally but very rarely do some content related to concealed carry and how that works with all of these beautiful bags that I love. So if any of that sounds good to you, then stick around and let's hang out. So today's video is a viewer request. Since I started my channel on YouTube many, many moons ago, I have had many people ask me to please show my contemporary bags or my leather bags because my channel does heavily focus on Vera Bradley and Lug. I still show other brands here, there, everywhere sprinkled in between, but I don't tend to focus on these bags and I've had many requests to show them. So I figured I would finally just break down and do it. So I'm not entirely sure how to show these to y'all. <laughs> I was going to do it by brand, like show you all of my coach bags, all of my Kate Spade bags. I was going to try to do them together in order of the brand, but I have them mixed up everywhere in all of this that you see behind you. So that would be incredibly, incredibly difficult. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the bags as I come to them. Like I'm going to start on this side. There are some out of frame way up here above me that y'all can't see. So I think I'm going to start on this side and just start pulling them out one by one and showing them to you, giving you a quick overview of the features. But then I will list everything in the description box according to its number on screen. So in one of these corners, I will number them as we go. And then I'll list them under their brand by their number. So if that makes sense. So if number one is a coach bag, it'll be listed as number one under the coach section. And if number two is a Kate Spade, then down below that somewhere you'll see number two under Kate Spade and if number three is a coach the the second one you'll see in that line under the coach heading will be three not two so I'm just gonna list them by brand but according to their on-screen number if any of these are still available for purchase I will try to link them um, I know quite a few of them should still be available for purchase but I don't know about so, all of them the bags in my collection that you're not gonna see in this video are from brands that focus more heavily on a fabric or nylon type bag. So like Vera Bradley and Lug, the two brands I tend to talk about the absolute most, they're not going to be in this video because Vera Bradley is very heavy on their fabric bags. Lug is very heavy on their nylon bags. So that's not what I'm showing in this video. I will be showing you primarily leather bags or bags from brands that focus on leather bags, even if the one I'm showing you isn't necessarily leather. So I hope that makes sense. And I know I've rambled way too long now. So let me just get All right. Started. So the first bag in my collection is this very old very beat to hell coach bag. I cannot tell you what this is called. I do not remember. This is actually the first coach bag that I ever got. And it was purchased at a, um, like a garage sale or an estate sale. It is just a, like a fabric material, like a canvas. And it has the round button coach logo on it little hang tags it does have this shorter shoulder strap for shoulder wear and it's just kind of an oversized hobo bag I wore the ever loving you know what out of this I absolutely loved it it's got this big long oversized pull no outside pockets on this one anywhere it is just that signature monogram print and then it also came with a kind of woven crossbody strap adjustable removable crossbody strap but this is the first one absolutely love this bag I wore it forever and ever in a day so that's the first coach bag this next bag is also another coach and it is also in that hobo style this one is quite a bit smaller it is another one very similar to the first you have your shorter shoulder strap and this one also comes with a removable and adjustable crossbody strap, but this one is in the leather. Again, no pockets on the outside anywhere. I think I may be completely wrong, but I think this one was called the Haley, maybe, but I love this one. It's kind of that vintage worn in super soft super malleable leather and it has the little buckle detailing on the side very reminiscent of older coach bags 
This one has the horse and carriage logo on it. Super slouchy, just super comfortable and easy to use. The inside of this one is kind of a purpley satin. It has a zip pocket on the back, two slip pockets on the front, and then just a ton of room in there. This is another one that I used to death. So I think this one was called the Coach Haley bag, but I could be completely wrong on that. If y'all know, let me know in the comments. This next one is another Coach, and this is the exact same style as the last one I just showed you. But this one is more of that kind of satiny, sateen feeling canvas, and it does have the monogram on it, but it's much more subtle because it's tonal. The same buckle detailing on the side, the same little hobo feature, the same removable crossbody strap, the exact same logo. And again, black. You can tell that black and hobos were my thing for a while. I still love to pull these out sometimes and use them because they're just so comfortable. They're so easy to just throw up on your shoulder, chuck all your stuff in them, and go. So that's the next one. Okay, this next one is from a brand called Nanette Lepore, and I can't remember if I bought this myself or if this was a gift, but if I bought it myself, I don't remember where I got it. Either way, this is a bucket bag. It's in a really, really pretty shade of kind of like a denim blue. It does come with the adjustable removable crossbody strap and the little cinches here, but it has a magnetic button closure right there to give it a little bit more security. But this, if you look at it on the inside now, it has no pockets. It has nothing inside there. It is just an open bag. But when I actually received it, it had this sewn inside of it. So if you can see these little tabs, I cut those out so they were attached right here and it just carved the inside of the bag up so badly that it wouldn't hold anything and I actually really like this little bucket bag it's super cute for just a little crook of the arm you know but I cut this out because this was garbage and should have never been put in there so took it out but that's the next one the little Nanette Lepore blue bucket bag this next bag is actually a backpack, and I am not a huge backpack person to begin with, but I absolutely adore this backpack. I have used this so much, and it still looks brand new. So this is the little logo right here. It's by a brand called Thacker. I think I actually still have the tag shoved in here. Let me find it and show you. Yeah, okay. So it's by a brand called Thacker. Backer. And then this is called the Maddie Backpack in Heather Gray. So there's the name of this one. But as I said, it's in neoprene. And it is just so soft and gushy. And I love the organization of this one. So it has a double zipper for the main opening. And the main opening just flaps out like this. It has pockets little zip pockets all over the flap and then there's a larger one that feeds down in here you have pockets on the inside right here if you can see those it has a sleeve for a tablet or whatever you want to put in there and then on the outside if I show you the back it has a zip here a slip here zip here slip here a trolley sleeve and then it also has a magnetic slip pocket right here at the top that goes about halfway down but one of the coolest features of this backpack are its accessories so it comes with this little shoe bag but you can I'm pretty sure this is waterproof so you can put shoes in it dirty clothes whatever you want to put into it but it also comes with this and it's a little wristlet pouch and this, again, is something I have used an absolute ton. And one of the things I like so much about it is not only can you just clip it off 
right here and use it as its own little individual pouch. If you were taking this on, say, a road trip and you wanted to use this little pouch as your wallet, your little catch-all, carry-all, your little mini bag. So you put some cards, some cash, your ID, your keys, your phone. I think my phone would fit in here. I've never tried. Yeah, I could get my phone in there. So your phone, you know, if you wanted to use it like a little wristlet, you can also detach it from the inside right here with a little snap. Pull it off and then snap this back around itself and you have a little wristlet that you can take. So this backpack is just so incredibly functional, so soft, so comfortable. I love everything about it. So this is the next one, the Thacker Neoprene Backpack. The Thacker Matty Backpack, rather. Okay, this next little bag is one that I just recently picked up off Amazon, so I haven't used this one yet. But it's by a brand called Miss Nine. This is so good, you guys. So good. I put, I added the extra little chain strap onto it, but it does come with a little adjustable removable crossbody strap. And this is in a really pretty beigey cream color. But I just thought that little gold chain accent on it, where you could use it like a little handheld or the little crook of the arm, or it can be you know the crossbody with the longer strap camera bag style it was intended to be but this is so so good there is a little coach camera bag that looks almost identical to this and this one was $19 20 bucks it comes with the little um, removable tassel on it and it feels so good for a for a pea leather or a fake leather, this feels so nice. Like, I highly recommend. So, it has a true functioning turn lock pocket on the front. And then it has a regular zipper main entry. You have a couple little pockets in there. Nothing on the back. But it's just such a good bag. I would highly recommend everybody pick one up. Just to have a cute little camera bag style that you can throw around, you know, you could use this for any occasion. So absolutely love this one. Okay, these next two bags are from the exact same brand and they're relatively the same size and all that. So I figured I would show them to you together. These are both from a brand called Relic. And if you're unfamiliar with them, this is a brand made by Fossil. But they're a much more affordable price point than Fossil. So Fossil bags can run anywhere from you know, what, $50, $75 up to a few hundred dollars. These are like 20 bucks. These are not real leather, but they are really, really good quality. So the black one, I don't know the names of either of these, so I do apologize for that. But this black one has a ton of organization on the front right here. The zippers work really well. This larger pocket, you have a built-in wallet and, oops, that's the wrong one. The smaller pocket is just additional organization, nothing on the back. These are fairly slim, so if you like a slimmer crossbody, these these work really well, but they still hold quite a bit. So this one has a couple pockets on the inside, longer adjustable strap on it for crossbody or shoulder, and then this brown one I absolutely love, probably even more than the black one. This one is super, super simple. Again, a fairly slim bag, but it will hold an absolute ton. So this one has a little zip pocket on the front and then a slip pocket on the back and then a couple more organizational pockets inside. But it's just a super simple little crossbody bag. Love this for any time of the year, really. So those are the two relic bags that I have. Okay, this next one is the Kate Spade Eleanor Satchel, I believe is what this one's called. And this is in the coated canvas material. It has the branding right there on the tag on the front. No pockets on the front of this one. One slip pocket right here on the back. This one also comes with an adjustable, removable crossbody strap and I do have this one stuffed 
But if you can see in the back, there is a zipper pocket and right behind it is a slip pocket. So I love the look of this bag. It's kind of that typical speedy-esque shape. And for the most for the most part, I absolutely love coated canvas bags. But I have realized that this is the first coated canvas Kate Spade bag I had ever owned. And I suddenly realized that their coated canvas is quite thin. I generally don't stuff coated canvas bags because they maintain their shape very well. But this one I had to stuff. I don't know if, I mean, you can see how kind of, I don't want to say flimsy, but how kind of flimsy it is. So I love the shape, the overall style. I love that it has the feet on the bottom with the more rigid leather. I don't know. It's not my favorite Kate Spade bag, even though I absolutely love the coloration and the way it looks. But that is the Kate Spade Eleanor. Okay, I'll go ahead and show y'all this next one, even though I, I'm, I, hey, I put this one up for sale, so it probably won't stay in my collection very long. Simply because, as I said at the beginning, if a bag is too small or I don't find it functional, I don't keep it. Now, granted, I have not used this one yet. It is literally brand new, still packaged the way it came to me. The tag is stuck in there. So it does have an adjustable removable crossbody strap, but it is just this little teeny tiny small kind of shoulder bag. It comes with this little additional pouch. You can put your airbu airbuds, so they're airpods. Airbud was like a movie, wasn't it? <laughs> but it comes with that, so you can put your airpods in there. It has a slip pocket on the back that does hold my phone. So it is a functional bag. It is just small. So it's not very deep. It is kind of just that really small shoulder bag moment that's going on everywhere. It has the black hardware. It's in a gray color, all leathers. Beautiful bag. I've just never used it and I've had it for quite a while. So probably gonna let this one go. Okay, this next one is actually one of my favorite bags in my entire collection. And it's not even a huge name. This is by Guess. So this is a tweed bag. I absolutely love the look of tweed bags. I think they're beautiful with all of the different color that they have in them. So this one has like blues and browns and whites and golds. And there's even a little bit of like pink woven into it in places. And it's just got the little logo there. It has a double magnetic closure and those babies are stout but this is another one of those really kind of small bags this is just the exception to the rule I cannot bring myself to get rid of this one because I think it's so beautiful so it has one of these straps and unfortunately well I can get it over me crossbody it's literally right under my boob um, so yeah, I would, I would never wear it up this high, so it doesn't work the best on me crossbody, but it is a great little shoulder bag or, you know, you can pull both of the straps up and use it that way, which is how I do tend to use it. This is a bag that's relegated to the winter for me again, but it is just this beautiful tweed little guest bag. I absolutely love this one. I think this is called the Cecily, if I'm not mistaken. But again, it'll be listed in the description box below. Okay, so I think we're down in here somewhere now. I'm not 100% sure. This is a Rebecca Minkoff Love crossbody. But this is the woven version in all black. And you will see, you can see the leather is woven on this one. And it has been used. It's got some tarnishing on the little turn lock there. A little bit on the strap attachment up here. It does have the black hardware, so kind of just inevitable. So on the back of this one, you get 
a little magnetic slip pocket. It will hold my phone. And this one has been heavily used, so it is soft with wear. But love this bag. It does have the not adjustable but removable crossbody strap. And then while they're stiff when they arrive to you initially, they they become flexible over time. This one will actually hold quite a bit in it. And while this strap is not actually adjustable, you can, you know, clip it straight on to use it like a crossbody. But you can also take the little clips and run them under the, um, whatever these little D-ring things are, I guess D-rings, and then you can clip it back up on itself up here. Just clip them higher and use it as a shoulder bag, which is how I tend to use it the most. It's more flattering on me that way than as a crossbody. But absolutely love this bag. It has served me well for many years. And I would say that Rebecca Minkoff bags are good quality. I don't have a lot of wear on the corners or on the leather itself. There's like a little spot there. But the leather on this bag still looks really good. It's just that black hardware that's kind of chipped and tarnished. So if you go for one of her bags, I would say avoid the black hardware. Go for silver or gold, whichever one is your preference. But that is the Rebecca Minkoff Woven Love Crossbody. Okay, these next few little things are all the same item in different sizes. And while I don't consider these first three right here in the front a bag, I do use this one as a bag, so take that how you will, but I know a lot of people do use these as bags, so I figured I would just show them to you really quickly. So these first two are the little Coach Nolita 15s. I absolutely love and adore these. They, they're so handy as just little catch-alls in your bag. There are different versions of these. like. This one initially came with a leather strap, but if you can see, I took a seam ripper and pulled the uh, seam out because I actually prefer the chain strap on these, simply because when I use them as a little catch-all in my bag, the chain is so much easier to work with. Like I had it just a minute ago, I can just tuck it in, or if I leave it out, then you know it'll just lay. The leather straps like to stick out and get in the way and all that kind of jazz. But a lot of people do use these as like a little mini bag. I would never use this as a little mini bag because it would look ridiculous on me. And the little 15 size does not hold my phone. But as a little catch-all in your bag, they work great. So the 15 size just has two card slots in it. And other than that, it's just like an open little wristlet. So I have the darker coated canvas with the pink trim. And then I also have the lighter coated canvas with the green trim. I absolutely love this green. This one has silver hardware and the leather strap. So the leather strap that it comes with, you know, like I can get it up on my shoulder, but that's absolutely ridiculous. I've seen girls wear it like this on the crook of their arm. You know, if that's your jam, have at it. But that's what I meant about the leather straps kind of sticking up in your bag and getting in the way. So those are the two Nolita 15s that I have. And then this is the Nolita 19. This one is in kind of like a patent leather and it has like glittery little bits in it. If you can see it's super pretty in this deep kind of burgundy color. But I don't actually tend to use this one as much. 
this one again came with the chain. I don't, I don't know. This one you can get up on your shoulder a lot easier if that's what you want to do with it. But I've used it as a wristlet or like a catch-all in my larger bags. But this one is just, I just don't use it as much as the other ones. But inside the 19 size, you get a slip pocket on one side and then the two card slots on the other. And then the last Nolita that I have was the really big one that they made. This one is like a 20, 22, 24, something like that. Let's see. That one's a 19. Yeah, I want to say maybe it's even 27. I can't remember, but this was the larger size that they made. So this one has a zip pocket right here on the front. And the version that I have is actually color blocked. So it's red and orange. And I typically am not a red and orange kind of person, but I absolutely loved this. And this one I have used as a little tiny bag. So this one also has the chain strap. And the only organization that you get inside this really big size is just one slip pocket on the back. So, I, when I used this as a bag, would attach either this little short chain strap, because you can get it on your shoulder, but I didn't wear it on my shoulder that way. I would actually just let it hang and use it kind of like a clutch, or I would just connect another longer chain with this one to use it as a shoulder or crossbody bag. But this one, surprisingly, will hold quite a lot. So it will hold my phone easily, keys, wallet, lip gloss, chapstick, mask, um, sanitizer, you know, whatever you want to put in it. So these are my Coach Nolitas. Okay, this next one is another Coach bag. This one is the Mini Bennett Satchel. And this was in the Badlands print that they did in the turquoise color. This is one of my favorite bags in my collection. I absolutely adore it. Again, it's, it's kind of that traditional little speedy shape. Little satchel. It has an adjustable, removable crossbody strap that clips on each side. The only thing I think could have made it better was if it had a double zipper, but it's totally fine. And then, oh, I forgot. This is a little matching wallet. I generally don't match, but I love this print so much that I got a little wallet to match it. It's really interesting. It has two big sections on each side with the card slots and then a coin compartment that zips around the side in the middle. So it makes it a super chunky wallet if you look at it from the side, but I really, really like it. So, on the inside of this one, you just have a slip pocket on the front, a zip pocket on the back, and then just the overall space. But this turquoise color is my jam wholeheartedly. I love the little black motif just stamped on there, kind of in like a little silhouette pattern. So, the main body of the bag is in that coated canvas, and then all of the trim and the handles and all of that are in the leather. But this is the Coach Mini Bennett Satchel in the turquoise Badlands print. Absolutely love this one. Okay, this next little bag is a little Coach Demi bag, I think is what this is called. Again, this one is in the black with the horse and carriage. The little kind of sateen monogram that they did. This one is a little shoulder bag again. Very on trend for the moment right now. I don't use this a whole lot because it is tiny, but it is a great little going out bag or, you know, quick little errand trips. When I use it, I tend to just throw it over the crook of my arm, but super comfortable, super squishy, just a really great little tiny bag. 
Okay, this next one I absolutely adore. This is another Amazon find. This is from a brand called Amelie Galanti, I believe is how you pronounce it. I'm not entirely sure. So if you look at this one from the side, I stuffed it so I could try to show you all the shape, but it is actually three different sections inside, which sometimes I want and sometimes I don't. So it has the shorter shoulder strap that you can remove. It's got a great little shoulder drop for, you know, if you want to wear it like that. Has a zip pocket on the back that fits my phone. It does come with the adjustable removable crossbody strap so you can take this one off, use that one, leave them both on, however you want to do it. I absolutely love the color of this. It's kind of like a dark taupey grayish color. It's super pretty. And then if you look at it on the inside, I do tend to keep my bag stuffed too, but so if you look at it on the inside, you can see it has an open pocket here, open pocket on this side, and then a zip pocket in the middle. It's also got other, you know, a zip pocket there, slip pockets there. It's got a ton of organization in it. It's just a great size. And this one, again, is not a real leather. It's a, like a pleather, but it's really, really soft, really comfortable. It's held up great. No wear on the corners yet. Like, it's just a great little, just a great little bag. I really, really like it. So that's the next one. Okay, this next one is another bag by Thacker. So that same little symbol, the same color, the same neoprene fabric as the backpack. I fell in love with the backpack, the way it felt, the way it looked, everything. And I had to have more and I found this one. So I think they actually call this a duffel bag. It's not long like a traditional duffel bag, but it is really, really thick. That's a feature I forgot to show you on the backpack, but it, they both have these elastic straps on the bottom so you can, you know, if you're out with the backpack or this bag, you can, you know, if it's like say fall or spring and you have a jacket on in the early morning, and it gets too warm you can take it off roll it up and just shove it through there or you could put a yoga mat through there a beach towel anything but I think they call this one a duffel bag if I'm not wrong and it is a really large bag so it doesn't have any pockets on the front it is just that fantastic neoprene fabric on the back there is a little cell phone pocket which I will say is a little bit small so like I can get my cell phone in it, which is a Samsung S22, the regular size, but it's right at the top. So, and then it's got this magnetic pocket right there that also has the zip on the bottom. So you can undo it if you want to use it as a trolley sleeve or leave it zipped if you want to use it as a regular pocket. And then it has the double zippers, just like the backpack. So, when you get on the inside, if I can flip it open, I'll show you a little bit. This has the same removable pouch wristlet as the backpack and the exact same little waterproof shoe bag. So on the back side, it has that tablet, um, the padded tablet or laptop sleeve, which I would say is more for a tablet, just, just because. And then on the opposite side, you have really nice size zip pocket, the little key leash clip, a couple of really nice sized slip pockets, and then just a ton of room down in there. So I absolutely love these bags and if I happen to find any more in this neoprene in this same gray I'll probably get more of them that's how much I'm in love with them but I have used this as an overnight bag I've used it as an oversized tote it works for whatever you want to use it for because this neoprene will just smash down and even when it's all just 
you know, kind of wadded up or, you know, wavy and it still looks super, super cute, super chic. I don't know. I absolutely love these bags. So that's the Thacker neoprene duffel. I'm not sure what this one's called. Okay, I think we finally made it to this side now. So I'm going to start with these bags hanging off the front. So I wasn't actually going to include any of my leather Bear Bradley bags in this video simply because for my regular viewers who really enjoy the Vera Bradley content all by itself, I was going to do a dedicated video to all of my leather Vera Bradley bags, but since these two are hanging there, I'll just go ahead and show you those. So this one is called the Vera Bradley Mini Emma Satchel. So this is in black leather with a blue trim and gold hardware. It does come with the adjustable removable crossbody strap. And this one is like a triple compartment bag. Now this is a tiny bag. So like if I hold it right next to my head to give you an idea of the size, it's a little bag. But it has these two little tiny grab handles that will fit over your arm. And then it's like a triple compartment satchel. So you have an open section, open section, zipper section in the middle. On the back, you have another zip pocket in there. On the front of this one, you have nothing. I'm a liar. I thought there was a slip pocket there, but there's not. And both of these sides do have magnetic closures, but I have them stuffed right now, so... And in reality, when you use this bag and you put your things in it, it pushes the sides of the bag out enough that those magnets don't really catch anyway. And this bag does not hold a lot. It will hold enough for your bare, bare minimum days out, but that is it. And then in the little zip section, if you can see in there, there are three card slots. So one, two, three down there on the bottom. They're hard to see because they blend in, but they are there. So that is the Vera Bradley Mini Emma Satchel in the black with the blue trim. And then this one is the Mini Marlowe in Caspian Sea. And I absolutely adore this little bag. This will hold, it's like a Mary Poppins bag. It will hold way more than you think. So it does have a functional zip pocket right here on the front that goes all the way across the bag. So it'll fit your phone, your keys, whatever you want to shove in there. This one has a double zipper across the top, super smooth zip. It also has the adjustable removable crossbody strap that clips on each end. And then inside this one you have a zip pocket on the back. And again, three credit card slots on the front. But this one actually holds more than you think it would. And it's so daggone cute. I love this metallic gray pebbled leather on this one. My husband says it looks like somebody picked this one up and just spray painted it. But I humbly disagree. I absolutely love this one. It has four little feet. It stands up on its own beautifully. It's just such a fantastic little tiny leather bag. This next one on the hook is my Coach Rowan satchel. This one again has the adjustable and removable crossbody strap, one zip pocket on the front, nothing on the back. This is the Coach coated canvas, four feet on the bottom. And this coated canvas is much sturdier than the Kate Spade. Like, it still has flexibility, but you can just see that it's more rigid. It just has more structure to it than the Kate Spade um, coated canvas, or at least the version that I got. So again, adjustable removable crossbody strap. And then on the front of this bag, you get a slip pocket that 
it's hard to see, but it's there. And then a zip pocket across the back. Again, this is kind of that classic speedy satchel style bag that I just love. These are so functional. They work really, really, really well. And with the coated canvas, it's like weatherproof. These are, these are just great bags and you can get these for a great price. Okay, this next one is my Coach Mickey satchel. And this one is in a metallic blue. Absolutely love this bag. The leather on this is so just smushy and supple. It's, it's awesome. So the Mickey satchel was known for this extra little leather detail down here with the rivets. It has a magnetic slip pocket on the front, super functional, really nice size, goes all the way across the front. No pockets on the back. You do have your two shorter handles here. They easily fit over your arm. Full zip top. Adjustable, removable strap. I can't remember. Yeah, you can go crossbody with this strap. It will. Then the inside of this one, you have a zip pocket on the back and two slip pockets on the front. One is much larger than the other. So this is just a great leather satchel. If you kind of like that worn in, more slouchy look for just a comfortable bag that will hold all of your belongings, no problem, no struggle. This is a phenomenal bag. I don't have a ton of wear on this one. Looks really good. Four feet on the bottom. I have a little bit of corner wear on it, but this metallic blue is just everything. It is gorgeous styling. So that's the Coach Mickey. Okay, this next one is the Kate Spade Carry Medium Flap Bag? Satchel? Something. I don't remember, but it's the medium carry. So this one is in a black quilted leather that feels awesome. It feels really, really, really nice. Um, on the back here, you do have a slip pocket. I have this one stuffed like all of the rest to keep its shape because this is a fairly squishy bag. So I added the additional chain on this one so that I could use it like this for now. If you're one of my regular viewers, you know I'm very open about the fact that I modify my bags when and if I need to. And this is a bag that I will be modifying because after I received it, it is absolutely beautiful. And it works perfectly fine as a long shoulder bag or a short shoulder bag right now but to use this as a crossbody for myself as a curvier larger busted woman again this sits very high up on me and I don't like that so I will be chopping the strap in half I'm going to cut the strap in half right here pull it out and then reattach it with D rings or quick release O rings to the little bits that stick up here. And then I'll be able to wear it crossbody if I choose. And I'll still have this shorter little chain strap on it for if I want, you know, crook of the arm or just to carry it. So I am going to modify it for sure. But you have that slip pocket on the back. This is one of the uh, little clip things you push the sides in and it just pulls out directly underneath the flap you have a slip pocket and then this inside is just one open pocket so there is another zip pocket in there with a couple of slip pockets it's a good size good organization no feet or anything like that this will hold your essentials I just have to do a little surgery to it to get it how I want it but it's a beautiful bag so that's the Kate Spade Carry Medium something. Okay, this next little thing I, again, actually use as a wristlet or just a large pouch. I don't use this as a, as a bag, but I know other people have and do. So this is the Amy Kestenberg 
I think it's called the Fiery bag. So it has a nice slip pocket on the back. Again, I have this stuffed, but it fits my phone easily. On the front of it, you have all these little kind of micro studs in that kind of brushed silver hardware. Absolutely beautiful. Amy Kestenberg is known for her kind of oversized zipper pulls, and I love her leather. Her leather is so soft and supple. So this one has, I already said the brushed silver hardware, didn't I? It's a full zip closure. It has some card slots and a slip pocket on the inside. But the cool part about this is the strap. So you can disconnect it. And then if you want to use it as a little bag, you just keep it connected. It doesn't really fit over your shoulder, but you can totally do, you know, the crook of the arm or just hold it. But if you want to use it like a wristlet, you can disconnect this. And on this side right here, there's a little snap. So you can actually snap the tail end of the zipper part with the little D-ring. You can snap it down so it's not just flopping all around. And then she put an extra D-ring on this side right here. So that when you go to make it a wristlet, you don't have to bend the strap around or twist it around. It just comes straight back and then clips on that extra D-ring for your little wristlet. So, great little bag, pouch, thing, whatever you want to call it. But that is the Amy Kestenberg Fiery. Okay, this next one is the Kate Spade Ella Small Tote. So, in the Ella line, there was a full size, so it was just called the Ella Tote. And then there was one smaller than this, which was called the Ella Mini Tote. So this one is the small. Has no pockets on the outside anywhere. Just has this really big branding on the front of it. Kind of reminiscent of the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. It has these smaller, skinnier rolled handles, which I absolutely love. I don't have big hands, so smaller like skinnier little grab handles like this are so much more comfortable in my hand totally crook of the arm those adjustable removable crossbody strap that clips in on each side there this is kind of like a breakaway zipper across the top so the ends are still a little bit open but you do have that security on the inside of the bag there's kind of a little flap bit with a slip pocket. That's the only organization on this one. Four feet on the bottom, but it is such a perfect everyday size. I have used the ever-loving shit out of this bag, and it still looks brand new. I absolutely adore this bag. So that's the Kate Spade Ella Small Tote. Y'all, I swear I'm trying to get through these bags in like a timely fashion, but still give you some information about them, and I feel like we haven't made a dent yet. Okay, this next one is the Kate Spade Darcy Small Satchel in the color Light Fawn, I believe. So, this is kind of, sort of one of those bowler style bags with kind of the domed top, but not not really, not entirely, like it kind of is, but um, you know, it's just a little small satchel bag. Great bag, does not fit a ton. Feet on the bottom, love the color. It's just kind of like a sandy nude color. Really, really beautiful, will match absolutely anything, any outfit. And this is in that Saffiano <laughs> leather, so it's damn near indestructible. But again, you have your little top handles there. If you've seen a theme running through my bags that I love a top handle with a removable adjustable crossbody strap, that kind of little satchel mini tote style bag, yes, that is my favorite. This one again is like the last one with that kind of pseudo uh, breakaway zipper there. The only thing I'm not crazy about with this bag is that... This little zipper has a tail, right? Which is great because it lets you open the bag up better. But unless you push the zipper down, 
when you go to get into it, it's a little bit difficult to get in and out. So there's that strap. This one just has a slip pocket in it, no other organization. It does have a good amount of space into it, but if you have your things into it and you don't want to unzip it all the way to the tail because the crossbody strap or attachment is right here on the end. So I don't like having the tail sticking out because it covers that. So if I have the little tail piece tucked in, then you can't really unzip the zipper all the way because you'll never get it closed again. So you kind of have to stop right there and then you can't really push it in. So if you're trying to pull the zipper opening up to get into your stuff, it's a little bit tight. But overall, this is a great, great little bag. Love the coloring on it. It's got that pin mount logo. It's just a great little satchel. So that was the next one, the Kate Spade Darcy Small Satchel. This next one is another Kate Spade. I absolutely love Kate Spade. It's probably one of my favorite brands. But this is called the Zippy Crossbody, I think. So this one comes with a non-removable little gold chain strap on it. So. There's no quick release on this one to take the chain strap off. So, unless you're going to cut it off, you're kind of stuck with it. But the strap drop on it is perfectly fine for a little shoulder bag. Works great. This is a small bag. It's got a decent sized base to it. No outside pockets. But where it has this scoop opening, you do kind of sacrifice a little bit of space. But inside... You have a slip pocket on the front, a zip pocket on the back, and this one again comes with the adjustable removable crossbody strap. But this is just a great little casual, you know, everyday kind of small bag. If you can get away with this size, it is beautiful. Just a beautiful, classy, classic little style. So that's the Kate Spade Zippy Crossbody. Okay, and then the last one that I had hanging on those little rod things on the front here is this little Steve Madden bag. So I think this is called the Steve Madden Terra bag, like T-E-R-R-A. I hate this little hang tag on that. So it has the little top handle, the little chain top handle you can grab there. And then it does have a longer removable chain strap. So for a not stick figure girl, this one fits me fine as a crossbody. It does have enough length. It's not up here under my boob. So this one works. This is a faux leather, but I like Steve Madden bags. This is the only one I have in the faux leather. I do have a couple of his other bags, but I really like it. So it's got a magnetic closure right here, which is stout. I mean, that sucker's not coming open. On the back of this one, you have another magnetic snap pocket. And then on the inside, it's just one big open compartment. Oops, there's a little pouch in there. Ignore that. But it's one big open compartment with a zip on the back and then a couple of slip pockets on the front there. If I can actually pull them out and show you. But this one has a decent little amount of room in it. It's really, really comfortable, really easy to carry. And this gray color goes with everything. Super soft and smushy, comfy against your body. So really like this one. It's a good bag. So that's the Steve Madden Terra bag, I believe. Okay, I think I'm actually going to start on this bottom shelf now and then work my way back up. So, the first bag down here is another Steve Madden. This one is called the Celine, I believe. C-E-L-Y-N. So this is a nylon flap bag. It has a little turn lock. You open it up. It does come with 
the strap, but this strap is incredibly short for some reason. So I'll show you really quickly how it looks on me just to give you an idea. It doesn't look that short, but this is adjusted all the way out as far as it'll go. This little tail piece, you can't adjust any further. I do like the hardware on it though because it's really kind of big and thick and chunky and feels heavy duty and durable. I just wish the Dagon strap was longer. So for those of you that like to wear a crossbody higher up, this will work fine for you. But again, this is pretty much a boot bag for me. You know, it's up too high. So when I use this bag, I typically trade this strap out even though I do like it and it is comfortable and it has some I don't know kind of like that guitar strap monogramming word stuff written on it but I'll just switch it out for a different black strap or even a chain strap so on the back of this one you get a snap button magnetic closure then again, it's a flat bag, so on the inside you have a couple more pockets and what have you. This doesn't hold a ton, but super comfortable, super functional, really good quality nylon. I mean, I have no wear on this bag, and I have used it a lot. So again, this one doesn't hold a ton, but it will hold your bare minimum. Your wallet, your keys, your phone, your... Your mask, your hand sanitizer, all that good stuff. So that is the Steve Madden Celine Nylon Flat Bag. The next one down here is another little Amazon find. So I don't remember the brand that this one is, but this is a baguette style bag. This kind of looks like the Coach Tabby or the Coach Georgie, if you're familiar with those styles. And with this being a smaller, kind of a more dressy style bag, this is not one that I would use very often, this particular style. So I didn't want to spend coach money on one. So I found this one on Amazon. This is supposed to be real leather. It, I don't know, it doesn't really have a smell, but I can't tell you. It is marketed as real leather though. So I do have this um, kind of stuffed again. But you have a slip pocket on the back, and this is kind of a tight pocket. But I love the opening on this. So, you can see I haven't used it yet because there's still plastic on this. But the opening for this flips open, and then you have a magnetic snap under here. That's not super strong, but the little flap keeps it closed. So, it opens up like this. You have a slip pocket directly under there. And then on the inside, let me show you. So, it comes with... The adjustable removable crossbody strap and then it also comes with a shoulder strap that I have in here now this was in the bag it was sewn in and this bag was divided out like those other bags I mentioned into three sections so open section zip pocket in the middle open section in the back it made it to where I literally could not hardly fit anything in here so I cut the stupid little middle zipper out so that I could actually get some stuff inside here. It still leaves you with a zipper pocket back there and another slip pocket right here on the front. So there's still organization if you need it, but in a bag this small, you don't need additional organization. There's the little shoulder strap. So you have a shoulder strap, you can wear it as a true baguette, or you have the longer strap if you want to wear it like a crossbody. But again, it just has the magnetic closure or the magnetic snap. And I will say it's kind of finicky lining it back up because the magnetic snap pocket or part of it isn't super strong. So it doesn't just get automatically sucked right in there. But I'll show you what it looks like really quickly with the shoulder strap on it just so you can have an idea. But overall, the quality of this one seems not terrible, but that's how it hangs as a little shoulder bag, so it's cute. For this style, if you're just wanting something to fit in with that baguette style trend, this is a really good option. So that's the next bag. 
Okay, this next one is another Amy Kestenberg bag. And this one is black with kind of that oil slick hardware. I absolutely love that. So this one is the Bally to crossbody. On the back here, it has a zip pocket that opens up really nice. It has a slip pocket inside there and then just a larger open compartment. I will say this zipper is, it has a tendency to be kind of finicky sometimes, but it's not bad. This one has a long adjustable crossbody strap, though I will say that uh, it could have been a little bit longer for my preference. I essentially put it on the longest setting it has and it works fine. But I like my bags just a little bit lower, but I'm getting to the point where I kind of have to be used to this kind of length because that's where a lot of bags tend to sit on me. But this has a magnetic flap opening that I love. And then one of the features in her bags that she's really well known for is this additional pocket in the flap. And it does go all the way to the bottom of the bag down here. So this is a really soft, supple leather, but it has feet on the bottom, which are pointless if you ask me. The only way feet do any good is if it's a structured leather bag, so, but it's fine. It's the thought that counts, I suppose. And then you also have these two functioning zipper pockets on either side. They are two completely separate pockets that go a little over halfway across the front of the bag. And then on the inside, you just have additional organization. So you have a couple slip pockets and then a zip pocket in the back. But this one has a good amount of space to it. It's just a really casual black crossbody bag with that kind of oil slick hardware. So super, super pretty. Really like this one. So that's the Amy Kestenberg Bally 2 crossbody. Okay, this next one is another Amazon find. This is from a brand called Bostanton, if you can see it there. So if you like the YSL Nikki bag, I'll maybe put a picture in right there really quickly. This is almost a perfect dupe for that bag. So on the back, it does have a snap button magnetic pocket, slip pocket back there. And then it's a magnetic closure for the main part of the bag. You have this slip pocket there. And then on the inside, you have some more slip and zip pockets. But I love this bag for this reason. So it has those chain straps again that you can, you know, double up and use as a shoulder bag. But if you're a curvy girl like me or you got a big butt... This one is actually a beautiful crossbody length. It's not up under the boobs. It's not in that kind of awkward spot that I don't like. This one sits as a proper crossbody at my hip, which I love. So this one, again, is supposed to be real leather. Not a leather expert. I can't confirm that, but it's got that kind of Y-shaped quilting on it really really cool bag it's kind of got that crinkled antiqued look to it so really dig that one so that is the Bostanton something this next little bag is another Amy Kestenberg bag you can tell I really like her bags her leathers are just so incredibly soft and supple they just feel so nice this one is called the good times mini in earth green just look at that color. Is that not gorgeous? It's got shiny silver hardware. So I have not used this one yet because as you can see, she's a tiny little bag. She is still functional. I have packed my things into her to make sure she will hold enough and she does. But she has this zip pocket right here on the flap and whenever I do finally use this bag, that is where my cards will go. So this front flap zip pocket right here, I will use as my wallet so it's easy to get to. 
but still secure. So again, this is a crossbody. You have the adjustable strap. It is not removable, but it is fully adjustable with the buckle. And then on the inside here, you have a zip pocket on the back. That's it. There's no other organization. And what looks like a zipper right here is just a design detail. It doesn't open up or anything, which if it did and gave like an extra inch, that might be pretty cool. But this one has plenty of length on it. It works great. No feet. Does have a little tiny back slip pocket. And my phone does fit in it. So it's pretty much a perfect fit. There's not a lot of extra room there. So you can see it is a small bag. But I absolutely love it. This leather feels amazing. And this color is just gorgeous. So that's the Amy Kestenberg Good Times Mini Crossbody in Earth Green. Okay, this next one is another Kate Spade bag. This one is called the Monica Satchel in the color Mason's Brick. So this again is that kind of satchel small tote style bag that I absolutely love. Again, you have your adjustable removable crossbody strap. This one does have a slip pocket right here on the front that goes all the way to the bottom. It's right below the little insignia. So the color of this one is kind of like a salmon-y mauve color. No pockets on the back. This one has a full zip closure across the top. It's a little bit domed. Again, the adjustable crossbody strap. You have a zip pocket in the back two slip pockets in the front and then this one does not really have any feet or anything it just has a good amount of space to it just a great little satchel bag the I think that the quality of Kate Spade and the Kate Spade outlet bags I think it's really good I know that Kate Spade is kind of a controversial brand for some people I really like the bags so that's the next one Okay, this next one is another Amazon find. This one was from a brand on there called Eva Lulu. And I don't remember what the style was called, but if it's still available, I will link it. So if you like the Saint Laurent Lulu bag, this is a really good kind of inspired by bag. So it does have the two chain straps this one sits up higher on me. It's like right here. I'm not going to take everything out. But it's the same kind of quilting as the Lulu bag. It's beautiful. It is. It's purported to be real leather again. This one instead of a snap closure though. It has a turn lock. And then you open it up. And inside you have those three compartments. Open compartment, little zip in the middle, another open compartment in the back. And then I think there's another zip pocket in the back. But this one where it is kind of divided out like that, you know, you have to be more aware of how you pack it. But this will hold all of my essentials for a day out. So... The leather feels really nice on it. It's really soft and squishy. Just a really, really good bag. So that is the Eva Lulu bag I found on Amazon. Like I said, if it's still available, I will link it in the description box. Okay, this next bag is from a brand called Orla Kylie. If you've never heard of them, I believe they're a British-based brand. So this is a coated cotton coated canvas bag and it's called the Fielder. This print is called Elephant Maze. So if you look at it like this square right here, you can see the little elephant ear, its little eyeball, and then the split from its trunk to its little feet right there. And I just think it's adorable. It's in black and gray. So, so cute. So this is a crossbody bag. It does not have a removable strap. It has a fixed kind of canvasy woven strap on it. 
It has a really nice size zip pocket right here in the front. It is this whole front panel. On the back, you have a snap closure for a slip pocket here. And this is a true snap, not a magnetic snap, but an actual snap, which I don't understand, but far be it from me to question a designer, I suppose. So it has a full zip closure on the top. And then here is that adjustable strap. This one goes crossbody, no problem. And then on the inside of this one, you have some really good organization. On the back, you have a zip pocket and like a little card slip there. And then on the front, you have a couple of slip pockets down in there. And there's also a little key leash down inside this one. So this is another one of those kind of really nice all-weather bags that's just super casual, super cute, and fun. It does have like four little uh, feet on the bottom that are kind of a rubbery something. I don't know. But they're just a super cute bag. I love this print. That's what sold me on this one. So that's the Orla Kylie Fielder. Okay, this next bag is by Radley London. And this is called the Cording Street Medium Grab Multiway in the color Butterscotch. So, I think this bag's beautiful. I wish the top handle on this one wasn't so gigantic because I can literally get it up on my shoulder with the top handle. Which I would never do, but just to show how large that one is. But... I still think it's a beautiful bag. The leather on this one is so nice. It is a grained leather. So fairly durable. On the back you have a nice sized little slip pocket there. My phone will go in that. You have this cute kind of leather flap detail on the side. It's not functional. It's just a um, design aesthetic. And then the closure on this one you push up and then just pull the flap out. It's one of those little push locks. Then the flap comes open and the inside of that is like a suede. Super pretty. And then on the inside of this one, of course it comes with the adjustable removable crossbody strap and it also comes with a little clochette that is actually cute. You could put your keys on it if you want to. It has Radley's little signature Scotty dog and then a key ring, but it flaps around on the bag and drives me crazy. So I don't keep it on there. And then on the inside, you just have a good amount of space. You have a nice zip pocket in the back. A couple of slip pockets on the front there. But you just have a good amount of space in this one. And it also goes crossbody on me. No problem. But I don't tend to wear this one crossbody. I tend to just carry it by the top handle. But that is the next one. The Radley London Courting Street Medium something bag whatever I just said but it's beautiful really good quality love this bag okay this next one is the infamous Marc Jacobs the tote bag this is the mini leather one I am not going to go over the details of this one because there have been a million of the reviews done on this bag on YouTube I think it's a good bag I am really glad that I got one I will not be buying any more if you'd like to hear my thoughts on this one, then by all means let me know and I can do a full dedicated video to this, but thus far I have not. So this does come with the adjustable, removable, crossbody strap. You have your two handles up here again, that satchel mini tote style that I love. This one is in the Harbor Blue color, which I think is just stunning. It is a really beautiful pebbled leather. So. That is, every time I put something blue up close to my camera, it throws the color off for a second. But that is my Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag in the leather mini size in the harbor blue color. Okay, this next one I haven't used yet, clearly, but there's a reason for it. This one is called, or this one is another Amy Kestenberg bag. This one is called the Golden Time convertible crossbody satchel something to that degree so this one again is kind of like 
the Bally 2 that I showed you earlier that she did has that magnetic flap with the pocket in the flap. This one still has two zip pockets right here, one on each side. They are two completely separate pockets. One sits on top of the other. And this one comes with two different straps. So one is a shoulder strap and one is a crossbody strap. So the shoulder strap is fixed on the D-ring on this one. But you have another D-ring for your crossbody strap that you can remove. So I do like that these are separated and not sitting on the same D-ring to interfere with each other. The back of this one has a zip pocket and then on the inside of this one it's just like her other bag. You just have a bunch of space, a couple slip pockets on the front, a zip pocket on the back. Feet again on this one. The only reason I have not used this one yet because this is kind of just like a little bit bigger version of her Bally 2 is because for some reason on this one the leather feels kind of dry in some spots like right here on this bottom corner that leather feels kind of dry so I want to condition it before I use this one but this is the shoulder strap drop on it so you can see as a shoulder bag it sits it's kind of high but without the stuffing in it this will slouch a bit so, just a nice shoulder crossbody bag, however you want to use it. And again, I do really love her leathers in general. They're usually very supple, very soft. I just need to condition this one. But this is a great bag overall. So this is the Amy Kestenberg Good Time Convertible Crossbody, I think. Or Satchel, I'm not sure. Okay, this next bag is another coach bag. This one is called the... Thompson crossbody I believe I got this one out of the men's section at the coach outlet I absolutely love this blue color so essentially this bag is just like an oversized camera bag um, you have this really really large nice sized pocket on the front you can see the depth of that front pocket right there and then this has a good amount of depth to it for a camera style bag has a main top zip closure and then a zip or zip a slip pocket on the back I've been going at this for way too long y'all I can't even talk now but this has kind of like a canvasy strap on it and it does go crossbody on me just fine. Super comfortable. Love this bag. It will hold an absolute ton. And again, you can see a theme. I absolutely love this blue color. So that is the Coach Thompson crossbody bag. And I'm not sure what this color was called. Probably just blue. But absolutely love this bag. Okay, this next one is another Radley London bag. And I just love the print on this one. I think it is so cute. It's just kind of like this autumn -y floral that's, I don't know. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. And it's got the little Radley dog tag there on it. So this one, again, has those little top handles. Perfect for crook of the arm. This one has a non-removable adjustable crossbody strap, but it is really, really comfortable. No issue with that. The back has a slip pocket right here to one end, and this is not, this up here is all leather, the handles are leather, but this part down here is like a coated canvas again. And then inside you have a zip pocket and a couple slip pockets and just a really nice amount of space. And then this one that was living inside that one is a little Simply Southern camera bag style. 
This is like a faux leathery, I don't know, this feels like faux leather and nylon had a baby. The front of this bag is so incredibly soft that I wish there was like feel-a-vision so you could just feel what this feels like. It is, oh, it feels so, so nice. So this is just a super, super simple camera bag style. When I got it, the strap was a, um, fixed on it, but I didn't like the length of it. So I cut the rings on it and then added my own little quick release D rings on here so I could put a different strap on it. But it has a really good amount of space for a little camera bag. You have a zip pocket and a slip pocket in it and it's hard to see because it's black but just a really really nice little camera bag for you know super casual quick days out. So that's that one. Okay, this next one is the Fossil Rachel Satchel, and this is in the color Graystone. So it's kind of like a taupey, gray, grayy kind of color, and then it's got the brown trim. So this is an all leather bag. It's got the little Fossil Key charm that hangs down there. So the Rachel has a slip pocket here that goes behind the straps a little bit. So this is a really nice size. And then it also has that exact same slip pocket on the back, no feet. But again, this is kind of that Speedy-esque style bag. Crook of the arm, perfect. This one does come with the adjustable removable crossbody strap and it is in this contrasting brown color. You have two zips that go all the way pretty much to the bottom on each side and it lets your bag open up really nicely. Inside it you just have a couple more slip pockets and some zip pockets but this bag is super roomy. It'll fit everything that you need and then some. Just a great everyday kind of satchel style bag. These are clearly my favorite, as you can tell. So that is the Fossil Rachel Satchel in Greystone. Okay, the next one is another Amy Kestenberg bag. Like I mentioned, I love her leather. It is so buttery soft. I love it. So this was called the... I think this was called the Bali Double Entry Satchel. And it's in Blue Cobra. So this is actually just a pattern that is printed on the leather, if you can see that. But something about this blue and black combination just speaks to my soul. I absolutely love it. So you have those two zip pockets on the front that are fully functional. On the back, you have a little slip pocket. Again, you have those two top handle, little satchel handles there that I love. And then this one again has that mag, nope, this one's a magnetic snap. But it still has that flap and then the pocket in the flap. The adjustable removable crossbody strap, no. This one does not have a crossbody strap. This one has a shoulder strap. So that's the shoulder strap that I've never used. And then inside here, you just get a ton of room, zip pockets, some slip pockets on the front. I absolutely adore this bag. It is probably one of my favorites in my entire collection. I just love the funky print and the colors. You have those little teeny tiny feet on the bottom again that don't do a whole lot, but it's the thought that counts. So that is the Amy Kestenberg Bally Double Entry Satchel in Blue Python. No, Blue Cobra. <laughs> Next is another Orla Kylie bag. So this is the little Orla Kylie symbol right there. It kind of looks like some leaves. And this one is called the Scoop Medium Two Strap Bag. So this is, again, this is that kind of coated cotton, coated canvas. 
you have those little button feet. This is the exact same print as the first one I showed you, that elephant maze print. I just think it's so darn cute. So this one has a really nice size pocket on the front. And then it has this scoop mouth opening for the main interior. You have a ton of space in here, a couple slip pockets, some zip pockets. And then this bag comes with two different strap options. So you have one that's kind of a canvassy strap with their insignia printed on it. And then you also get the shorter shoulder strap that's in the same material. So I love this big chunky hardware. It's just super chunky and feels really durable. So when you put this strap on, oh my gosh. So all of their hardware, when it's a removable strap, also has the swivel on it. So it doesn't matter which way you, you know, put it on, it won't get tangled. But that's how it sits as a little shoulder bag. I just think it's really cute. And again, with that coated cotton, coated canvas, it's pretty much indestructible weatherproof. So that is the Orla Kylie scoop, medium scoop, two strap something. I don't know. It'll be listed in the description box. But absolutely love this bag. I think we're finally on the home stretch. This last shelf right here. But there's a few bags that I've not run across yet that I know I have that are not on this shelf. So I have one Vince Camuto bag. It's called the Harlow something. I'll insert a picture right here. Mine is in the mint green. I also have another coach bag that's a little leather demi type bag that if I can find a picture of one of those I'll insert here but I'm not sure where those are and I'm fairly certain that I'm missing a couple more but we'll just keep going because we're so close to done and this has been hours upon hours that this has taken me so let's start in the middle actually So, this is another Kate Spade bag. This is one of my favorite bags. This one was called the Software Quilted Mini Tote, I believe. And it is in this black lambskin leather that is so incredibly buttery soft. I cannot even put it into words. It has these two squishy, gushy, padded top handles here that you can get up on the crook of your arm, but it's a little tight up that far because they're so padded. So this bag is really interesting. You have a magnetic kind of slip pocket on each side of this one. And then inside one of the pockets so inside the pocket on the front of the bag there this one has another slip pocket that you can't see and then this one has a zip pocket in it that again you probably can't see super smooth buttery zipper for the middle section and then this came with a kind of fabric woven strap but I don't think this strap actually goes the best with the bag. So I tend to use either another leather strap or something else with this bag. Because the leather on this is just so incredibly soft that it deserves a proper strap. And then the center section is just a zip section. There is no additional organization inside of it. But this is just such a good little bag. I absolutely love it. It doesn't have feet, but I've used this quite a bit already, and there's no corner wear. It's just beautiful. Just a beautiful black leather case spade bag. So that's the next okay, one. Okay, this next bag I haven't used yet, 
but I do think it's beautiful. So this is the Michael Kors Hamilton Legacy small belted satchel or something to that degree. Again, it'll be listed in the description according to the number on the screen. So it does come with an adjustable removable strap. I'm not sure if it's crossbody length or not. I haven't got that far. And <laughs> I am embarrassed to tell y'all that when this bag arrived to me, let me show you. It came like this. Well, I'm not going to hook that on there. But it came like this, right? With this little lock on it and all that. Well, I could tell there was a pocket under there, but I could not figure out how to get this damn lock off. There was no key. There were no instructions. There were nothing. And for whatever reason, it did not um, occur to me to just try and pull it. But that's all you have to do. You literally just pull it down and it turns. And you can take it off. And the lock is not even necessary because this has a little turn lock. And you can just lock those little bits with it if you want them locked. Or if you don't, you can just leave the flap out if that's what you'd prefer. But there are options. So there's a slip pocket under there. Your two shorter grab handles and all of that. It has this little leather kind of bit belt detail on the ends. And then it's kind of like a triple compartment satchel. So you have open section, zip pocket in the middle, open section. And these two open sections have magnetic closures to them. And like I said, I have not used this bag just yet. So I can't really tell you how it wears or any of that, but I do think it's a beautiful bag. It's in a gray, smooth leather that is gorgeous. This one has silver hardware, which I love silver hardware. I just think the bag itself is absolutely beautiful. And I know that um, Michael Kors is kind of a controversial brand, but I think some of his bags are absolutely gorgeous. And if I see one that I like, I will get it. So this one is the Hamilton Legacy smaller medium belted satchel something to that degree it'll be in the description box okay this next one is another one that i just recently picked up so i have not had a chance to use it yet but i think it's so stinking cute so this is the kate spade chelsea the little better something this is a Chelsea Medium Something in Deep Berry. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it through the camera, but in the center of these flowers, there's like some little glittery bits, if it'll show up. It's just so pretty. I love the print on this. And I love that it's not overdone, that it's really simple. So this is a nylon tote. These straps... Do not lay down. They are fixed on the bag. But you know, plenty of room for that crook of the arm. <laughs> this one again comes with a crossbody strap that is adjustable, removable. There are so many pockets on this one. I showed this one in depth in another video that I did when I showed this when I initially purchased it. The inside has like a water bottle pocket, some slip pockets, a zip pocket. It's just a really, really functional bag. If you're someone that needs to take a lot of things to work and all of that, this would be a really good one for you because you could slip a small laptop in here, I'm sure. You could get your water bottle, all your daily essentials. There's tons of organization and it's nylon, so it's like waterproof. And this one also says that it is made of at least, says the shell of this product is made of at least 40% recycled materials. 
So I think this is one of their, you know, they're trying to do better bags. But I just think that it is one of the cutest little bags I've ever seen. So that is the Kate Spade Chelsea Medium Nylon something. Again, it'll be linked in the description. Okay, this next one is the only other Michael Kors bag in my collection currently. And this is the Medium Carly Satchel. And this one is in the color, I believe it was called Merlot. I absolutely adore this bag. It does have the signature coated canvas on the front and the back and the bottom. And it has feet. But the sides here are in a kind of deep burgundy purpley leather along with the flap on top. I love the braided detail on this strap and this one I went with this one specifically because it had the silver hardware and this is kind of a more serious dressy looking bag in the traditional regular leather with the gold hardware and I just wanted to try this style because this reminds me so much of the Louis Vuitton Capucines bag and as I mentioned earlier, I will not buy luxury bags anymore because I know that I won't use them because I'm too afraid to damage them. But I love the overall style of the Capucines with the flap and the little top handle and all of that. And this gives me that same style. It's the exact same sort of flap. I love this so much I'll probably pick up one of the all leather versions because I actually think this one's better than the Capucines and I'll tell you why. On the Capucines, you cannot move this top handle at all. On this one, if you want the top handle to sit at the top, it will do that. But then if you need it to move out of your way so you can get in that flap, it'll move out of your way. Also, on the Capucines, when you get into the interior, it's divided. I don't like tons of compartments. This one's not divided. It's all one open section and I love that. The flap is magnetic so it will stay perfectly. It will not pull out and then you get this beautiful little strap that goes with it. It has the chain detail on it. It's just beautiful. Everything about this bag is beautiful. So I'm really glad that I got the part canvas part leather version to try this style initially because I didn't know if this flap would kind of drive me crazy and don't get me wrong it can be kind of annoying if you're in a hurry but overall I absolutely love this style bag and I will probably pick up another one that's how much I enjoy it so that's the Michael Kors Carly medium in the coated canvas and the Merlot color okay the next one is another nylon Kate Spade bag and this one was called the J Nylon Quilted Medium something, another, you know, another one of those really long names. Again, it comes with the adjustable, removable crossbody strap that you attach on the ends. This one has no pockets on the outside that are obvious, like on the front or the back. And one feature I really like about this style versus the other nylon one I showed you is that these straps will lay down completely flat because they have the little hinges there on them if you want to use the longer strap. So no obvious outside pockets, but you do have this. So here's your main zipper entry right there. And then you have another zip pocket right here against the front of the bag. That goes all the way to the bottom, all the way to this side, all the way to this other side. So you have this huge little zip pocket that's kind of, kind of hidden, but not really. And then the inside of the bag, you have this really comfy kind of thick padded woven strap that goes with this one. And then again, inside you just have tons of room, couple slip pockets, zip pocket. Just a great everyday sized bag. Again, nylon, pretty much weatherproof. And this print was called Confetti. 
so it's just kind of like those random colorful dots everywhere absolutely love this one so that's the kate spade j medium something nylon satchel next one is another bag that i absolutely adore this is called the kate spade smush bag and this is the regular size not the mini or any of that so it has a little baby oh that's where my pocket knife went. I've been wondering what happened to that. But it has this little tiny baby slip pockets on each end. You can't fit a ton in there, but you can fit a pocket knife. <laughs> um, no outside pockets on this one. If you like the overall kind of size, shape, and look of the Loewe puzzle bag, this is kind of that same overall feel when you when it's not stuffed and your stuff is in it it will kind of get that slouchy little bit of a smushed look to it just super cute again comes with an adjustable removable crossbody strap you have a slip pocket and a zip pocket on the inside no feet but this has a ton of room in it it looks like it wouldn't be a huge bag just based on you know looking at it straight on but if you look at how it's actually constructed and its depth, you can fit an absolute ton in there. And again, I love the little crook of the arm moment. This is a great little handheld too if you just want to do that. But love this bag. I think I would love to get this one in black as well. So that is the Kate Spade Smush Bag in Warm Gingerbread. Okay, we're down to the last two that I can find anyway. I know... I know I'm missing at least another handful of them up there somewhere. This one is the Coach Swagger 27, I believe. This was a, the larger size of this style. Absolutely love this bag. If you are a full-on big bag satchel kind of person, this is for you. These little grab handles still fit over the crook of the arm. This is the blackout version. So it's got some little turn lock details here. These are just um, just for looks. They're not functioning. It has a crossbody strap that goes with it when you want to use it. These will lay completely flat. This is a gigantic satchel style bag. So I do have mine stuffed and I'm not going to unzip it because it's full of air paper and it was a pain in the butt to get them all in here. The more you use this bag, the slouchier it will get. So just be aware of that. This one does have feet on it, but you can already see where the weight of the bag itself has pressed down around those feet. So they're essentially useless, but I love this bag. It is such a cool, just stylish, you know, woman at work satchel. Like... You walk into work with this and they know you mean business. But this is the Coach Swagger in the blackout version. I think this was the 27 size, but don't quote me on that and one. The very last bag that I have to show y'all today is another new one that I have not used just yet. This one is called... I don't know what this is called. Where is the tag? Where is the tag? Here it is. Okay, this one is called the Kate Spade Hudson something. Oh, okay, the Kate Spade Hudson medium flap shoulder bag. And this one is in the color Romaine. So, this is a magnetic flat bag. But, even though it's called a shoulder bag, it does come with an adjustable, removable leather crossbody strap that goes with it. Couple pockets on the inside. It is a magnetic flap. And it does have a fixed shoulder strap on it. So... There's where it falls on me. Now, while you can't remove the shoulder strap, if you want to wear it crossbody, obviously the shoulder strap will go forward or backward, wherever you would like it to go. But I absolutely adore this green color. It's called Romaine. 
has gold hardware with it. On the back, you have a zip pocket, which is interesting. It's just a really good medium-sized, soft, pebbled leather shoulder bag. And I adore it. I think it's a phenomenal color. I just love it. So that is the Hudson Medium Shoulder Bag in Romaine. Totally forgot this one too. I just found it. This is another Steve Madam bag. This one was called the Dumbo. Not entirely sure why. Um, but it's another nylon style. On the back it has a zip pocket. It does come with the adjustable removable crossbody strap. And I forgot to mention that this one and the other nylon Steve Madden I showed you, the flat bag, they also both came with a black kind of acrylic short chain strap as well. So you could use it for top handle. But I've used this bag an absolute ton. I love it as well. Steve Madden nylon bags are really, really good. And this one will hold a ton. So I had to stick this one in really quick since I found it. So that's it for now. Finally. I know this video is forever long. So I hope that even if you had to break it up in sections that you made your way through it eventually. I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to give some kind of balance between actually showing you the bag and the features. But not taking too long on each individual one because I know there's a lot of them. But if, if there was any particular bag that you wanted some more information about that you actually wanted to see the details up close or you want to know what will fit in it or anything like that, then feel free to leave me a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to do that. So if you have any comments, questions, or you just want to say hello, then as always, please leave me a message down below because I absolutely love chatting with you guys. And I am going to finally shut up and put the rest of these bags up and clean my mess up because it's been like four hours now and I'm exhausted. So I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.